Welcome back. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thank you, Father, for allowing me to see another wonderful and amazing day. Welcome to another Crafty Vision segment. Today, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, I am going to show y'all how to make a pretty much like an adjustable ring using this flat wire. This is a flat aluminum wire that I purchased from Michael's Hobby Lobby and Joanne Fabrics does not sell this. You may be able to find this online. And I was just letting y'all know that so that you don't go out to those stores and try to find this. You can find it at Michael's when they have it in. They have it in silver, they have it in gold, and they have it in like a copper color. So I'm going to be doing the ring in silver. And I've cut out my piece. This piece is eight, six, I'm sorry y'all, six inches long. So six inches. You're going to need your round nose pliers, your wire, round nose wire cutters, and a dowel, your dowel, or you can use a ring manual. But like I said, this is going to be an adjustable ring, so it's completely up to you, whichever, whichever you choose. But this dowel I purchased from Walmart, and this dowel is a half of an inch thick. Okay, so it's not an inch, it's a half of an inch thick. They used to sell these in the stores, but they do not sell them. Well, I shouldn't say that because it depends on what Walmart you go to. But the Walmarts I've been going to, they haven't had them. But you can find this on Walmart.com. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing I'm going to do is you're going to cut your piece. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to take your dowel. And you're just going to wrap this like a circle all the way around. All right, so I'm going to wrap it just like that. So you want to, because this is what your finger is going to be in, okay? Just like that. And what you're going to do next is you're going to take... Now you can take this off if you want to, but I'm going to leave mine on so that I can have the support I need in order to bend it. So you're going to just come here, take your pliers, and bend it over like this. Be gentle with it, okay? You know, bend it just like that. Bend it over, and it's going to sit look like this at first okay and now I'm gonna go ahead and start making my design and I can actually take that off I can do my design like this so now you're gonna come here come down just a little way and you're going to pinch it over like this okay and then I'm I'm gonna be flipping it back and forth so that I can work. So now I'm gonna it's this way. I pinched it over. Now I'm gonna flip it back this way, and I'm gonna come like right about here and pinch it again over towards this way. Push it down. Pinch it over. And that's what you're going to have. That's what it's going to look like. It's going to be a little, look a little funny, but that's okay. Okay. Now I'm going to come here and pinch it over. And then I'm going to flip it back here. And I'm going to go in the middle just a little bit. Let me move this up some. So y'all can see. I'm going to come here. And pinch it over just like that ok 
Okay. Now I'm going to come here. I'm going to pinch it over here. Okay. And then I'm going to come here. And pinch it. Push that down and just pinch this over. Like that. Okay, see where I'm going at? This is what it looks like. And then when I get here, I'm going to just take and make, bring that down and make a loop. Like this. Okay. Now I'm going to take and just squeeze these together like that. See what I'm doing? All right. And then I'm going to bring it around just like this. So it will sit to the side. All right. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to take for this part here, I'm going to open this up just a little bit and I am going to make my loop like that. And I'm going to actually put it back on here. So I'm going to open this up so I can size it okay so as you can see this is pretty much what it's going to look like let's put it on to see how it fits all right so that's how it fits That's our ring. It's different. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, you could probably wear it on whichever finger you choose. The thing that I do love about um, this type of wire is that once you bend it and put it in shape, it's not going to go anywhere. And you can make so many different types of designs um, from this wire. I've made just a few. These are some other ones that I created. Okay. So, this right here, y'all, is different and it's unique and goes around your finger no problem if it's too tight you can always loosen it up because it is adjustable but i want to thank y'all so much for joining me and until my next upload please make sure you thumbs up this video peace and blessings everyone happy crafting see ya